uh, they give you a center of a circle and also they say it's touched the x-axis they didn't directly tell you what is the radius by using but by using this information you can get the radius therefore you can build up the equation of that circle very soon but anyway uh, this is 3 and 5 so it's approximate here this is the center and then the circle we have to draw a circle which just touch x asset so uh, the circle may be like this like this but they say touch the x asset so we have to make it smaller until it's touch the x asset so the implication here which means the perpendicular distance tangent perpendicular radius so the radius is the same as this height which is 5 so they just tell you that the center is 3 5 at the same time the radius is equal to 5 to build up the equation we are going to describe our general point x y and the distance between the general point and center should equal to the fixed radius distance between them is x minus 3 square plus y minus 5 square by Pythagoras theorem radius is 5 so in reverse that means x minus 3 square plus y minus 5 square is equal to 25 that's why the answer is D